What's going on everybody? Jem Mint here back again with another statue reveal video. You might have seen me appear on XM Studios channel for my first live reaction of the entire reveal for their war tank, their war machine companion to Hulkbuster. Man, I was blown away. It's a crazy piece. We're going to take a look at all the pictures together. I'm going to give you my commentary and afterwards I'll give you my final thoughts. Before we jump into it, make sure to hit that like button, be subscribed to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We also have a giveaway going on for our next subscriber milestone of 150k. We're giving away a statue, so stick around to the end and I'll give you more details on that. Also, before we get started, tomorrow, October 23rd, we are doing a live comic book auction on this channel. That's right, it's the first time I've done an auction in a couple of years. It's going to start at 8 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be myself. I have a ton of modern comic book runs, completed miniseries, maxi series, large runs. I'm going to also do some omnibus and some statues. I'm joined by Nick Barucci, who has incredible back issues, CGC comics, and original art. Very Gary's coming with his normal heat as well as Comic Tom. So be there. It's already scheduled. You can go ahead and hit the reminder bell on that video now. Matter of fact, I'll probably have it on the screen for you guys here. All right, with, with all that out the way, let's jump into this war tank. All right, guys, here we go. This is a great edited picture showing the war tank from bottom to top. War machine inside. I love the red glow of the eyes and of the chest. And here we go with the dimensions. So the version A, War Machine in the War Tank, is over 34 inches tall, over 36 inches deep, and over 35 inches wide. Man, this is a big boy. So this is the version A in its full glory. I love the legs of the War Tank. Oh, it's got those tank treads, and man, the weaponry is insane here. Here's a look from the side, and the intricacies and all the mechanics, that had to take so much time and so much patience to sculpt in all of the different details of the suit. Here's from the back, you can see that spine look to it. Again, those big cannons on its shoulder, the rocky base. And man, I really just dig the treads on the feet here. Here's from the side, this is why it's so deep, man. You have that long range weaponry ready to blast. This guy could take on an entire army by himself. Here's another shot from the front, beautiful piece. And it makes sense that he's so big. I mean, War Machine is bigger than Iron Man, so it makes sense that the War Tank is bigger than the Hulk Buster. And man, is he big. This is a huge quarter scale piece. Uh, mostly gray with the paint jobs, as War Machine is. So you have a lot of that metallic gray look. Here's another look at the back with the edits here. And this is going to be something that, man, you got to put this on a huge table or something. Probably behind Hulkbuster as it's meant to companion with him. Again, from the side here, just with a little bit of an edit. And again, look at the details in the feet of the War Tank. And here's up close, right? The pistons, the mechanics, the machinery. So much attention to detail. It's like you can't just slap on a texture like you can with like someone's costume, right? This had to be individually sculpted. And I'm sure hours and hours went into that. Now, like I said, this is version A. So this is what you see, what you get. War machine. You only get the top torso and it sits in the war tank. And it's going to be a little bit more inexpensive compared to the version B, which we're going to take a look at in a moment. But... Here's just kind of a last look here at version A, which is good enough, man. I mean, you can see his war machine. You can see he's in this huge exoskeleton of a mobile weapon. Now, here's your version B. Version B comes with a bottom torso for war machine and a separate base and a cover for the war tank where war machine was sitting. So you can have it become two separate pieces, just like how Hulkbuster is. And that also includes two more huge cannons that you can attach to it as well. So the version B, a little bit more expensive. Uh, and here you can see the measurements of War Machine versus the War Tank. Version B, a little bit more expensive, but you basically get two statues here. And if you got Hulkbuster, you kind of got to go with version B here. So you can have Rhodey with Tony and their two huge machines behind them. So here's a look at War Machine. Looks great. I like the light up features in the eyes and in the chest. Here's the two extra weapons. Like I mentioned, you have those big rockets on his shoulders here. And then a look from the back here. He can be pretty wide when he's spreading out like this. Got his arms out, guns are out. And then a look from the side here as well. So he's got a lot of mass to him as well. And not to mention the standalone Iron Man from Hulkbuster is one of, if not the best quarter scale Iron Man's out in the market. So here's a quick look at like version A with War Machine inside of the war tank, right? We've shown that. And then to just do a smooth transition to show it what it looks like with that part covered up. So you can see it's a... Uh, more compact and then war machine would be a separate piece 
And then here we go, just like a nice artistic angle. And, and they're going to kind of show you that you can display him to the left or the right of the war tank here. Love that light up and that clamp weapon. Then here we go, like I said, war machine a little bit to the left. I like the details of the smoke added there. That's a nice touch. Some nice photoshopping there. And then from the back on how they both look, man, I would not want to go against these guys for sure. Here we have another artistic look of uh, version A. Looks great, man. Huge, massive piece with tons of presence. And then again, the dynamic duo here. So it looks like there's light up features on both War Machine and the War Tank, which is nice. Here's a better look at that. So like I said, that chest cavity has that red light, which is so scary to me. When you, when you have a robot with red lights, you know you're done for. That uh, helmet looks similar to Hulkbuster, obviously des designed by Tony Stark as well. Here's a side look just showing the cannons and the missiles. And then lastly, just looking at the detail in the spine and how much went into the actual sculpt of this guy. Beautiful piece. All right, guys, there you have it. The behemoth, the largest quarter scale statue XM Studios has ever done. Following up one of their most successful statues ever with the Hulkbuster, which I reviewed here. It was a monster. It was hard to do with just myself. I think I had to have Fee help me. And it looks like War Machine might need that same help, if not more. Uh, I'm digging it. I think it's uh, an awesome follow-up because when I first heard about this idea, I was like searching Google, like what comic did the War Tank first appear in? Come to find out it wasn't in any comics. Uh, but then when I found out that XM Studios worked with Adi Granov on the design, Adi Granov is one of the best comic book painters out there, and I'm a sucker for painters like Joe Jusco, Alex Ross, Gabriel Del Otto, Adi Granov, all in that same realm. Uh, and he also designed the first Iron Man armor for the MCU. So who better to help with an original concept and idea than Adi Granov? And I think XM is smart, man. I mean, if Hulkbuster was their most successful piece, why don't they make a companion for that? And you kind of got to go bigger and badder with that, right? If they just made a quarter scale war machine, it might do okay. It might have a three to 500 ES, but uh, this is something special. This is something that if you have the space, if you have Hulkbuster, if you missed out on Hulkbuster, it might be a good opportunity for you. Um, the pre-order goes up tomorrow, Singapore time, so it might be right now. Not licensed for the U.S., so it's for whatever you know countries they're licensed for, and it's going to be expensive. It's going to be more than Hulkbuster because inflation, supply costs, shipping costs, everything is more expensive than when that came out in like 2018 or so. Uh, but um, it is something special, something unique, and you're definitely not going to see that anywhere else. So I think overall it's ambitious as hell. It's not for every collector, price range, space-wise, but for those who can't afford it, for those who have the means, it's definitely something special. Let me know what you guys think about the War Machine War Tank in the comments down below. Like I said, we're doing a giveaway once we hit the next subscriber milestone of 150K. And we're giving away the Deja Thoris premium format by Sideshow. And that's all you got to do. Be subscribed, leave a like, leave a comment. Once we reach the milestone, we'll go live, pick a random video where I promoted the giveaway, and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. As always, I appreciate you watching, but don't go anywhere. Check out my other statue reveal videos in the playlist to the right, as well as my statue unboxing and reviews, and you stay minty fresh. Peace.